This is the kind of behavior that gets enabled when it starts from the top. People that have an audience and a following, like Nick Calandra, and he posts things like, go after their funding sources, that's the only way you're going to silence them and get them to stop. And then you have people like Alyssa Mercante sharing the full legal name of the person that they want to target, and to an audience of nearly, what, 12,000 Twitter followers? Of course there's going to be a few weirdos, white knights, people that are just trying to impress, to to get acknowledged, to be noticed, and you're going to have a few standouts that just, just want to see the world burn. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In the latest events of people trying to get me cancelled, we had Chris Kindred stepping up to the plate, an employee at Sweet Baby Inc. thinking that it was a smart idea to try to get me fired from a job that he didn't even know if I worked at or not, but he wanted to find out more information about it, so he contacted them and made up some lies about me, said things that are not true, provably false completely, and also was asking to verify my employment status and if I still work there because he wanted to end me. He wanted to cancel me. He wanted to stop me from having a funding source. And I thought that was crazy enough coming from someone who is literally working at Sweet Baby Inc., a place that should not even exist in the video game landscape. There is no need for it. And I've said that many times, but these people over at Sweet Baby Inc. and their ilk are trying so hard to justify their position by silencing anyone, just calling it like they see it, just saying, hey, there's no need for this kind of stuff in the game industry. Get rid of it. And they don't want that voice out there, so what do they do? Try to cancel anyone that speaks out about it. But now we have a new challenger entering the battle, Brody Arnold. Let's talk about this guy. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down what a complete jackass Brody Arnold is. And before I go too far with this, I want to make sure I make it abundantly clear. This is, in my humble opinion, a crazy person. Someone who's not really all there. And some of the things we're going to talk about this video and show to you is going to explain that and prove it to you. But I just want to get that out of the way off the top. So when that post got shared from my old job like three years ago by Airbagged, it was not a cool move. It's one of those unwritten rules of the internet. You don't share family photos, especially when you have an audience of people that know you don't like me. It's kind of a below the belt shot. Even though someone else shared these photos, even though it came from another source, it came from three years ago that a job that I was at and you felt like sharing it to your audience was a good idea. It goes... It speaks volumes for the type of person Airbagged is. And, of course, the people that don't like me also follow Airbagged. So there are going to be some unhinged weirdos in that group that find this and want to feel enabled. Want to feel like they're making some sort of inroads against me. So what do they do on that post? They make some replies talking about how abhorrent of a human being I am. And they say the most ridiculous, ludicrous lies that you could ever think up because they don't have any proof. They don't have anything to show. So they just say things. They spew vitriol in hopes that something sticks, even though there's nothing there. It just goes to show what an awful person you are if that's what you do. And one of the people that replied there was this guy that I'd never heard of before called Brody Arnold. He goes by Brodo or at Mr. Brodo on Twitter. And he said, hey, that's the guy who harasses women online every day. Do I? Wow. Care to, I don't know, provide some evidence, some tangible proof of how I'm doing that, especially daily, but just in general, ever? If anything, all I'm doing is reporting on situations and giving my feelings on them. I don't know what your definition of harassment is, but it's definitely not the Webster's Dictionary version of it. But regardless of that, I was like, all right, cool. He said his piece, he's pissed off, and he wanted to cancel me. I was like, all right, there's a few other weirdos in there that said similar things. I'm like, these are all NPCs. They don't even have an idea to think for themselves. They have to have that chip injected into their head to be told how to think and who to be mad at. He's exactly that type of person, just like the rest of them. But whatever. Like I said, some people just want to do those things. And I was like, okay, that's it, right? No problem. Go along my merry way. 
And then somebody from that job had contacted me saying, hey, do you know that someone else contacted us? And I was like, no, who? And they said, well, here's the email. Let us know if this rings any bells. And they shared this with me and it said, from Brody Arnold or Brodo789 at gmail.com using his personal email address. Real smart, Brody. I bet you thought that this wouldn't get back to me. I don't know what is wrong with you people. Like, stop it. Stop doing stupid things because it's going to come back at you full force, tenfold, a hundredfold. Don't do this kind of stuff. It's not intelligent. But then again, it's kind of common sense and it's not so common with some people. Anyways, the email goes on to say, Subject, Smash JT. I was wondering if you were aware that you have an employee who spends all day on YouTube and Twitter harassing journalists. Smash JT on YouTube. All right, br Brodo, if that's what you want to be called here. Whatever you say here, fantastic. Great job. You made an impact at a company that I had worked at. What kind of evidence did you provide alongside this mention here? What kind of screenshots and information or, or links or tangible evidence of any of these claims did you provide? Oh, nothing. Okay, cool. Make, makes sense. Goes right in line with everything else you guys do because you don't have any evidence because I haven't done anything wrong. But you still want to cancel me because you're just so angry that I'm winning, that I'm able to share an opinion that you don't agree with. And because of that, you just want to kick and scream and cry on the internet because you don't have any power to do anything. So I looked at this email, I loaded it up on Google and I was just like, I want to find out more about this person, what's going on in their head, why they feel this way about me, because it's very, it's very interesting that someone would not just reply to an old company message on Twitter, but then feel empowered enough to also email the company in the support area to tell them that there's an issue with one of their supposed employees, thinking that you're anonymous when you use your personal Gmail account which links to all your personal information that is publicly available to everyone as of right now. So this is out there on the internet for people to locate and it's not any private information. Here is a screenshot from Brody's personal Facebook page. Rate my new bedroom. I mean, is anyone really surprised? Let's be honest here. That's literally when I saw that, scroll through his Facebook, I'm like, yep, that checks out. It, it, it's right It's right on brand with the type of person that would be doing these things. An unhinged lunatic that doesn't have any grip on reality. It's the same type of person that I would have some extreme concerns about out in society publicly. Like these people can roam the streets with us and do crazy things in public or worse. That's what's worrisome about this and all I do as much as they hate it is put a spotlight on them and show the light of what's wrong with what you're doing why it's not okay and if you feel like it's normal go seek professional help this is mentally unhinged lunatic activity and if you think you're normal and you think everything's good and you think I'm crazy you need to be checked in to an insane asylum because this is anything but healthy logical thinking Taking a look at his Twitter account, of course, he's a simp for Alyssa Mercante, where Alyssa said, Yo, Nick Merckx, you're a hateful bigot. Give me my last name nickname back. Uh, isn't her last name actually Merchant, and she changed it to Mercante to sound ethnic? I don't know. I haven't verified that one, but that's a rumor that I've heard rolling around out there. But it doesn't matter, because there's our good boy Brody replying, own that meathead! Yeah! Get him, Alyssa! Get him! I'm in your corner! Slay my queen! Like, these guys, like I said, they're all the same. Generic NPCs that can't think for themselves and think impressing women online is going to somehow get them laid in real life. And it's like, it's not how it works. And if anything, it completely embarrasses you with stuff like this. So, back to the drawing board, Brody. You can keep trying to come at me, or you could do the smart thing and reevaluate your life and put it in a better place instead of going down a spiral like you clearly are doing right now. So that's what I got going on. I've had more people contacting that place of work and trying to get me fired, spewing hate and vitriol at me because apparently I'm a bad guy for having an opinion that doesn't align with some people, and because of that, I need to be canceled. These tactics used to work. I'd like to think, what, 
three years ago, it was very effective. A lot of times, they just a massive cancel campaign. Anytime this kind of stuff happened, it was just like companies were like, oh, don't want anything to do with that. They must be right. They're going to make us look bad. But the tables have turned. The tide has turned. Everything has shifted. And you can't do this anymore. It doesn't work. So go back to the drawing board, reevaluate your life, and get bent. I'm going to leave it there. Check out smashjt.com for the full article with all the descriptions, information, screenshots of everything that I talked about in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash